I guess, first of all, what's your reaction? Uh, first of all, welcome to DC. Thank you. What's your reaction to the trade and, and joining the Wizards? Uh, you know, at first, it's a, it's always a surprise. You're never prepared for it. Um, and it's a roller coaster of emotions, you know. Uh, you have to leave one place and just pack your stuff and be in a new city uh, the next day. Um, so obviously it's been busy since I got traded, uh, a lot of new faces, uh, but, uh, you know, it's, it's a lot of energy, a lot of good energy, a lot of excitement. Um, and yeah, I'm, 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 uh, anxious to, to be with the team as soon as possible and start shooting as soon as it's uh, official, start shooting on the court and, and, and getting some work in. So, uh, I'm excited to be here in DC. How did you learn about the trade? Uh, Nico, uh, our GM, called me. I was getting out of the hyperbaric chamber. And as soon as I got out, I looked at my phone and I saw this GM calling me. I'm like, oh, shit, <laughs> something's happening. I picked up and he told me, you know, before he came out in the media and stuff, he told me that um, I'm getting traded to uh, Washington. And um, and he just, you know, thanked me for, 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 for my time there. And, you know, I thanked him and wished him well and... and uh, completely understand you know it's a business and they have to make the right moves for them um and yeah and i'm excited where i am right now so uh as soon as it was just, just honestly it was just excitement that took over in that moment when i when i got the news so and i'm here and i'm, I'm ready to go definitely i think it's a great opportunity you know uh, you guys started us. We started playing well in the beginning of the season. Um, now it's kind of been a little bit down. Obviously, Bradley is out. Um, but I think me coming in, bringing what I bring, um, we can we can finish the second part of the season strong, and and uh, and, and hopefully make some noise. And you know, first first uh, goal I would say is to make it to at least the play-in tournament and play for. Uh, play for a chance to play in the playoffs, you know? Um, so I'm excited about that. And, and, and I'm excited about um, my next chapter as a, as a part of uh, this organization, this team. So um, I'm looking forward to it right now. The only focus is get back on the court as soon as possible, healthy, hundred percent. And, and uh, I finish the season strong, you know, consistent and uh, I hopefully make some noise. As I said, how is your, how is your need? We understand you. Yeah, it's the same thing. Uh, just a bone bruise. I kind of played through it a few games in Dallas, but um, but then I, I realized something's not all right. Did an MRI, bone bruise, nothing serious. You just have to sit out some time and let the bone uh, heal. Um, my feeling is that I'm pretty much there where I need to be to start playing. Uh, but I think with these kind of things, you have to be a little bit on the on the safe side to uh, to give it enough time to heal and not not re um re-aggravated um so i think you know from the first impressions that i've got here from the medical staff i'm in good hands and um and yeah i'm i'm i'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to getting the green light and, and getting out there with my guys so you don't expect to play that uh, no 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 i didn't i didn't go through shoot. it's not even official yet the i couldn't even shoot with the guys after the shoot around right, right. you know so um but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely excited and, and anxious to be out there and, and start learning all the schemes that, you know, offensively and defensively and, um, and, and, and showing what I can do for this, for this team. For those, for those of us who haven't watched uh, all of your games this year in Dallas, how would you kind of describe your season so far and where you feel the coach you Um, I would say a, a, a pretty good, decent season. Um, I think the coaching change for me, um, was good. Um, in Dallas, um, and just a lack of continuity, you know, COVID, this thing, little, little things happening throughout the season. Um, but I think everybody, you know, saw my progression, you know, and the way I was moving, the way, you know, the way I am moving this season uh, compared maybe to last season. And, and also the numbers show that. So uh, the only thing is, is my three hasn't been falling this season, but that's something, you know, I, I, I keep working and I, my confidence stay, stays high. Um, and you just got to keep shooting them and, and, and let them fly instinctively. And that's it. And uh, being on this team, I think, um, at least from the 
from the feeling that I'm getting around these guys, you know, they're they're kind of the same mindset as I am. You know, Kyle is the same way. He's just out there hooping and having fun and and always playing with high confidence. And uh, that's what I look forward to bring to this team and also um, and and, uh, and also, you know, uh, just give that give that to the team. So, um, yeah, solid year, but but I'm looking forward to make taking that next step right now for 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 the Wizards. For people who are not familiar with your time in Dallas, uh, how do you characterize how your tenure there and what do you feel like you met your own expectations? Yeah, no, that you know, it's it's tough. It's different. You know, I um, I went from New York uh, to being out 18 months with the ACL, uh, you know, um, into playing with Luca, one of the best talents in the league, one of the best players, not only talents, one of the best players right already in the league, and um, and it's an adjustment. And um, you know, me me who I am, I'm I'm willing to make adjustments to be great as a team. Um, but it just, you know, I think we, we never really achieved what everybody expected us, you know, us to be. And and it's still, we, I was only there for, you know, a couple, two, two and a half seasons. Um, and then uh, everybody, you know, this year was was up and down because COVID, everybody was out with COVID. Me and Luca, maybe we got to play, I don't know, 15 games together or something, you know, um, some injuries here and there. Um, so not what, what everybody expected probably and not, you know, what I expected, but that's how it is sometimes in this league, you know, Luca, Luca is a great player and, um, and, uh, you know, I wish him, I wish him well, and I wish him, you know, to achieve what he, what he sets to achieve for himself. So, uh, Wes Unsell Jr. and Tommy Shepard, so they, well, they can't wait to see on the court and they expect a two-man game between you and him. Bradley Beal be very effective. What is the potential there that, uh, in terms of the two of you playing off each other? Yeah, no, I think it's going to be great playing with him because uh, the way he moves without the ball and, and you know, I could already imagine those two-man games with him, handoffs, keepers. He draws so much attention. It's going to open up the game for me and vice versa. Um so I'm I'm excited about that uh, about that um, about playing alongside him, um, and yeah, uh, looking forward to you know the future. But right now, uh, with what he, what we have, I think we also can uh, can have some fun out there and, and and win some games. What do you think about the some other players on the roster? What stands out as you just kind of look at the, the team that you're joining? It's a bit too early. I haven't seen that many games really. I haven't you know t- today's the first day I've been around the guys and. And see how everybody's shooting and just kind of going through going through the shoot around. So I don't have that much to give you right now, but um, everybody seems to be in in, in high spirits and, and excited. Uh, so am I. So uh, looking forward to making this official and uh, and joining the team, being around the team as much as I can. I remember, uh, like two years ago, you were here and I asked you about being a fan of the football team here that has yeah. changed their name. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are, are you still a fan of them? Yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I don't, you know, I'm, football is not my passion. Yeah. Uh, so I just kind of, being in Dallas, I just picked a random team because of Daryl Armstrong. Um, he, he's a, you know, Washington team uh, fan. Um, and, you know, now it's perfect. Now I'm here. I can support my team. Uh, so finally, I will have a reason to uh, to go to the actual game and uh, and uh, support them. So, uh, yeah, it's 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 random, but it's it's that's my team. And uh, just what else stands out about Washington D.C. as you you move here and you make it your home? Uh, I've I've had many. Uh, my rookie year, I think I went to a couple of good spots to eat here, so I already know there's a lot of a lot of good places to eat. The city is beautiful. Um, the vibe, I would say, so far is a bit uh, more like New York than Dallas. You know. Um, so yeah, I, th- I think I'm gonna I'm gonna fall in love with the city. Honestly, we'll go to Zoom now. We'll start with Da. Sorry about that, Christoph. Welcome back. Welcome to DC, man. Um, hey, uh, how did you like the role that you had with uh, when when Carlisle was coaching in Dallas the last year, where he really had you outside a lot? Um, 
and, and really emphasize that part of your game? Um, yeah, you know, it was, it was an adjustment also for me because, um, the way I was playing in New York, it was in and out, less threes, more in the, in the post, in the paint. Um, and then I had to make an adjustment playing, playing with Luca and, and, and for coach Carla, um, which I was okay with, you know, I'll, I'll find a way how I can be effective, but, um, but that definitely affects, you know, when, when, when some parts of my game weren't utilized, you know, I was I was I was not feeling as comfortable as I would like to, um, but but yeah, I, I, I'm I'm getting older too now, and and I uh, not that I'm old, but I'm getting older and uh, and more mature, and and I'm willing to um, to make adjustments and to play uh, to play the the way you know the coaching staff wants wants to use me. So whatever is the most effective for for everybody, that's that's what I'm for. Um, so yeah, uh, so far it's it's been. I've had some good conversations with uh, with Coach Wes, and we're gonna meet right after this. And uh, yeah, and I'm excited about the future and and playing uh, playing for this uh, for this team. So ideally, you would. Is it fair to say you'd like a role where your your whole game is utilized? You're you're in the post sometimes. You you do spot up sometimes. DHO, some things that you could be effective with, but you can also be effective in the paint. Correct, correct. I think, yeah, the, the main thing for me is uh, to take advantage of those mismatches. You know, if they put a guard on me, it's it's ridiculous for 7-3 to stand out on, and only shoot threes, you know? Um, so, uh, but I have to be effective. So, you know, take advantage of that. Double teams come, I kick the ball out to my teammates for open shots. Um, and just looking to create and, and take some pressure off everybody else and, and play basketball the right way. That's what I'm, that's what I'm looking forward to. Um, so yeah, that, that, that's it pretty much. Christos. Hey, Christos. First of all, have a great uh, journey in DC. By the way, your first bucket in DC as a wizard was pretty impressive last night. <laughs> and, uh, I would like to ask you, Without Bradley Bill on the floor, you're gonna bring some leadership uh, on both ends. How, how? What type of responsibility for you is this? Um, I don't know about responsibility. If it's if it is there, then I like I, I like that. You know, I I don't shy away from it. Uh, I'm gonna be vocal about the things I see and and and, and what's wrong and what's right. Um, but um, but yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't focus on that too much. I'm just going to be myself uh, on the court with my teammates in the locker room, and and um, and just do the best I can. Really, that's that's that's. Whenever I do that, and whenever I focus on 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 little details and and my daily daily things, daily habits, um, then the result, whatever the result is, I can I can live with. And and um, since I've since my mindset has been like that, I've. Um, my mind has been super calm and, and I've been enjoying this and, and life in general much more. So um, that's what I'm looking forward to doing. And having a teammate like Kyle Kuzma, whose growth is huge, especially this season, you face him as an opponent uh, in previous years. How could, you, how could you expect your partnership with him on the floor? Yeah, I think it's going to be great because he's very vocal too. You know, he's a vocal guy. He, uh, I could tell he loves the game. Uh, he goes hard. He plays hard. He's about the right things. Um, what what I've seen him so far. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. And and uh, and I think communication that's extremely important to build chemistry to to talk to each other. And and I'm gonna try to help him as much as I can from my side. And um, and yeah, he's he's super talented. And I'm looking forward to uh, to have some fun and 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 hooping with him. Thank you very much. Thank you. Last question to Neil. Hey, Chris Stops. Welcome to DC, first of all. Thank you. Kyle shared with us that kind of immediately as he saw the trade went down, you know, he found a way to reach out to you. I guess, you know, what did that mean to you as a, a sign, you know, a welcoming sign? Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, yeah. He he reached out right away. Um, we talked for a little bit and, and he, you know, we kind of in a way in a similar mindset, which is which is pretty cool too. We uh, we both want to prove that uh, 
uh, that you know we, we both want to prove some things to whoever to ourselves or to somebody and and that's important to have to have that motor to have that drive um, and I think we're gonna connect right away um, on and off the floor so uh, that was cool for him to, to reach out and and get on the same page right off the bat and I know you know Bradley Beal is dealing with his own stuff he just had surgery things like that have you gotten a chance to discuss or reach out with him at all not yet not yet um, I don't know when was his surgery, but I, I think around this time, right? If I'm if I'm correct, so um, he's probably going to be around, and I'm going to see him and and uh, and have some conversations with him. And then, last thing, I guess, are there any other relationships that you have prior with anybody, either on the coaching staff or players on the roster, that you have great relationships from before? Yeah, last year, uh, Zach, I was with Zach in Dallas. Uh, Coach Miller, he was in New York when I was there. Um, and then player side, I know a lot of the guys just by playing against them. And, and, uh, uh, Rosinho, I played with, against him in Spain also. So, uh, we, we were sp speaking Spanish earlier and, um, and some more people that I know, um, off right off the bat. So, uh, that's pretty cool to come in a, in a place where I'm already, you know, familiar with some faces. Thanks for yourself. Welcome again. Thank, thank you very much. I think we actually have one more in-person question. What do you feel like you, you have to prove? Um, one is staying on the floor consistently. You know, now that I'm healthy and, and I'm moving well, uh, you know, that's, uh, that's the thing I have to prove. And I, I truly believe that, you know, my luck hasn't been the best luck in terms of injuries. And a lot of them have been, if not all of them, have been contact injuries. Um, and those, you know, you can't, you can't really avoid 100%. You know, I, I do my part in, in, in being in a weight room and making sure my body is, is, is right uh, to stay healthy. But you have to have a little bit of luck. And I feel like uh, now being here uh, with a good support system around me, um, that's 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 what it's going to be. I'm going to take my game to the next level because my body's going to be healthy, um, and uh, and and that's it. And then just you know taking as I said, taking my game to 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 a new level that I haven't seen yet. Tommy Shepard said that he had met you briefly back in the day mm -hmm. uh, when he was I guess scouting one of your teammates in Sevilla. Mm -hmm. uh, do you recall any of that? Okay. Not really. Not really. Yeah, it was such a long time ago. I don't remember. That's it, KP. Thank you. Thank you very much, guys.